Welcome everyone to another day in the life of a sneaker reseller. Welcome to my world. Today is another sales day and we have probably the most ever sales we've ever got in one day. We have sold 20 pairs of sneakers in literally one day. We'll also drop some nice tips and tricks for everyone to learn from. But if you don't know who I am, I am a full-time sneaker reseller. I resell sneakers and also teach people how to sneak resell in my cook group. Now, as you can see, everything is a complete mess at the moment. Even got shoes on the bed. It's all a bit crazy. Let's get into how I've sold these sneakers, how much I paid and how much I sold, how I package and so on. So this is my exact setup. I have my table, my laptop, which is gonna have all the sales on, and packaging tape, seller tape, and scissors. And of course, the boxes we're about to ship into. So our first sale is just these triple white dunks, really cheap. Only sold these for about 105 pounds. I bought them for 90, so really not much profit to be made on them. So I'll get my box. Now I had a lot of questions about what shipping boxes I use. I simply use the ones that these sneakers got shipped in the first place, if that makes sense. I've personally never bought for boxes, but I will be buying some boxes soon because I'm gonna be opening my own website for selling sneakers on. Whenever I get a shoe in, I keep the box, I flat pack it, as you can see here, and now I'll just build it back. Simple as that. Shoes in here. Tuck the corners in, grab your label, and of course, seal your package. And that's one done. Only 19 more left. And then before I get disorganized, I'll upload the tracking for that package. Now my next order is three sneakers. And I can't find the box. There is the box. I got one of the shoes, but I can you find the box. Got this pair actually at SneakerCon. Got it for 220 and it sold for about 270, I think. So 50 pound profit. These, these are GS pair of Midnight Navies. I'll even stick in the authenticity guarantee as well. Oh, look at that for a snug fit. Ooh, compact. Midnight Navy's done, 50 pound profit. Onyx Phone, what are the next? The UK8. Got these for retail, so that would have been 70 pounds. And sold them for 190 pounds. Nice 120 pound profit just on a pair of Yeezy Phone runners. Next up, we have a big pair, and this is the Travis Scott Phantoms. These were UK10, and you would have actually seen me pick these up if you've watched my previous YouTube videos. I also told myself not to buy any more, and I bought another pair. These were actually bought for 600, and I sent them for 700, so a nice 100 pound profit. But we're gonna wrap these nicely. Now, it is hard to sell these sorts of shoes, because, you know, I love these shoes. But you can't keep feelings towards shoes. That's one thing I learned sneakery selling. And we do have other pairs, so it's fine. Next up, we do have a pair of Jordan 1 and Lost and Founds. Pick these up again on video, which you can watch. The SneakyCon video, we picked these up for 310 pounds. These have sold for £390. Golden ticket. So we have a pair of Yeezy 350 Sesames. These are 11 and a half UK. <laughs> the Sesame's done. Sesame's from retail on Yeezy Day for 180 These sold for £250, so nice £70 profit. Now a great shoe. These are the Jordan 4 military blacks. You would have seen these on my channel loads. However, we're actually running low on these. We hit 17 pairs on release. Let's show the photo. Yeah, guys, these were £180 on retail. And these are sold for a nice £400. Nice, juicy 220 quid profit. Next up, nice pair of flax here, sold for £85. The most affordable Yeezy slides out there. Next up, we have a pair of Jordan 1 Mid Fire Reds. I think Kai Kicks Apprentice, my group, you would have actually got these for under retail. So it was an absolute steal, only for £80. And we sold these for £130. Technically, it's only a bit above retail, but because we got these for under retail, we're making a nice £50 profit. Guess you got me and Kai Kicks Apprentice to know. What we got next? I'm sitting down for this shoe because this made me a hell of a lot of money, this sneaker. Well, sneaker, slide. So when these initially released, I actually only hit 20 pairs. Oh, only 20 pairs. Yes, it's still very good. I was very happy. However, these restocked and everyone thought they would brick because of the amount of stock that was being produced. I didn't listen to anyone and I said, no, I, I have faith in this Yeezy slide. So I went all out on that release and I hit 60 pairs of Yeezy slide onyxes. So in total, I've hit 80 pairs of these. These in the last couple of months have just rocketed. So these retail for £60 and now some sizes are hitting above £150. Like the return on investment in this is just insane. I've still got around 30 pairs left and I'm over doubling my money on each one. So this one has sold for £150. So that is a £90 profit on this Yeezy slide. But yeah, I will always remember this slide. Now I can't lie, I'm getting tired already. Now Jordan 4 Red Thunder, these have sold and you would have seen this again in the SneakerCon video. We picked these up for 330 and 335 because we've got multiple pairs. These have now sold for 390 pounds. Happy days. 
Red Thunders, nice profit made on them. I can't remember what they sold for, but I know it was above 300 pounds. Think it was 330, UK six and a half. Funky looking sneaker. You get a little bag with it, you get some spare laces and you get these, whatever these pad things are. I'll put them in the bag. Shum. Honestly, can't remember how much I bought these for. I know it was under 150 pounds because I got them in store in the London vlog, which you might have seen ages ago. Again, I can prove I got the sneaker for retail if you check out this video ages ago. That was the Flare Live Cop. We got five pairs of these, held on to two, and these were rocketed in price just because they look good. I'll take it though. These are for 250 pounds and I bought them for 110 I think a long time ago but it was under 120 pounds I hit 11 pairs of these in retail and they didn't actually do too well off release I held on to them and they rock it up in price on release they resell about 220 and now they're looking at about 260 270 I've sold these for I sold these for 265 bought for 180 which means it's an 85 pound resale resale profit I hope my math is right today man but yeah great looking Jordan 4 and quite underrated to be fair and we'll upload the tracking. Next up, we do have a bulk order. There's quite a lot here. You got us five pairs. Not off with the bone beige. Great looking sneaker released on Nike a couple of weeks back. Really low stock. Bought these for around £105 and they've sold for £190. So a nice £85 profit on these. Be True Dunks. I'm not going to lie, I sold these for retail. Here they are. Yeah, I sold these for retail because of that. Yeah, they got destroyed on the way to SneakerCon. On the way out of SneakCon, basically we had this big builder's bag. We put like a hundred pairs in and dragged it. The bag ripped, which I didn't know, kept on dragging it. And yeah, it caused that. I'm not too mad about it though, because it could be a lot worse pairs. These were only a bit above retail anyway. So I'm not even gonna count it towards the profit. Great pair of this. These sold for about 160 pounds. And I think retail was around the hundred pound mark. I can't remember, but we'll just call it a 50 pound profit on these. Great looking sneaker though. The most famous Panda Dunks, got them for retail. All these for 150. Saw a pair of Midnight Navy's UK8, however they're downstairs. So actually that one of the last videos that we hit for retail on JD, 180 pounds. These sold for 280 pounds, 100 pound profit on them. Finally, ending off with a bang is another pair of Travis Scott's. Another pair of Travis's. I wasn't gonna buy any more, but someone messaged me saying they just wanna get rid. So I paid 570 pounds and I sold them for 680. So a nice 110 pound profit on that as well. So we'll get them packaged up now as well. Now here comes the fun part where I've got to take all these downstairs, load my car, and get them shipped off. But we have some major news here and I want all of you to listen right now. Over New Year's, I thought we'll look into my YouTube statistics a little bit. 80% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please make this change. If you do somewhat enjoy this content, it really does help me if you subscribe to the channel because at least I know people actually like what I'm doing. And finally, if you want to learn how to start sneaker reselling, well, Kalkix Apprentice is the group for you. We are a sneaker reselling based group. We teach you everything about sneaker reselling, whether you're a beginner and you want to do a side hustle and get into it, whether you're already experienced and you really want to scale it, you want to start botting. We have everything covered within the group, ranging from the release dates all the way to stock numbers, monitors, and a lot of advanced information. I'll pop up some people's success on the screen right now, but if you are interested, top link down in the description below. We'll drop a 40% off your first month this time. Use code 40 off. I'm going to limit this to a very small amount, so make sure if you do want to join, quickly head down below and join through the link. But let's get these shipped off. Now, who said a beam was on practical? Check this out. Oh my god, it's windy. Look at this. 20 pairs, no problem, mate. Seats folded down. Look at that. I also collected these pairs today, the Drake Air Forces and some more Panda Dunks GS. Look at all this room still there, man. All right, let's get these shipped off. My car is dirty as anything. It needs a clean. We're now in Z Whip, cracking a cold on with the boys. No, it's not alcoholic sprite before someone tries to get on me. Check the little LED lights in the back, eh? I've got three paper cuts on my hand, and there's half four, and the post office closes at five. Plus, where I dropped them off is only a little tiny post office, so I'm probably going to get rejected. So I wish my luck. We have got a couple of other things to do, but the way I like to do things is one thing at a time. Otherwise, I won't do any of them. It's a new day, and we've got some deliveries. We hit a pair of Panda Dunks. These are the GS ones. Two released on Nike a couple of weeks back. This was just posted from another address that I never picked up. So I've just gone and collected them. Retail on these is like 60 and they resell for like a good 130 pounds. So really nice money on them. Next up, same again. These are posted to the other address and I've just picked them up. These are the Drake Nocta Air Forces. Literally just an all white Air Force. The logo being different at the back. Some metal tip laces and some letter laces things. Really nothing too special about them, to be honest. But they're reselling for a lot of money, so I'm happy. 
from a pair of blank canvases. Now these are rocketed in value. I did actually run out of these after sneak on because someone bulk bought all my pairs. This is actually off a member of the group. So within Clarkix Apprentice, not only do we teach you how to get the sneakers, I also do offer a cash out service where I buy members sneakers. So all we do, we agree a price, they send the shoes, they will then send the note with their details on and I'll straight bank transfer the money. Save them having sat on StockX with all the fees, plus they get a bit more money than selling on platform. So, so it's a win-win either way. But yeah, blank canvases, very nice. Even got the Supreme stickers with it. But yeah, again, cashing out some people in the group. Supreme laces, got a good price, happy with that. This was a retail cop. I bet he didn't know these restocked. These are some Jordan 1 Low GSs that restocked on Foot Asylum. And you wouldn't have known if you weren't in Kike Express because we picked this up on our monitors. Pinged that they restocked. Essentially what our monitors do is they monitor the websites for any restocks. So Foot Asylum just randomly loaded these on their page with some stock. We notified our members and a lot of our members were able to get a pair. These retail for like only £65 and looking above £100 for resale. So a nice little little cop there. Especially it was just randomly during the day. Quick one minute, quick profit, done. So we're gonna add them to the stock list, but apart from that, it's gonna be the end. Use code 40 off for 40% off your first month in the group, top link down in the description. And please do consider, if you have enjoyed this content just that little bit, please do consider that subscribe button. The more subscribers we have, the better content you get. Apart from that, good luck in all your releases, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.